Good morning. It's Danielle over at DIYDanielle.com. I wanted to show you how to do holes in Fusion 360. So what I'm trying to do is add holes in the front of this guinea pig roof. I have a guinea pig house that I made for my guinea pigs to go into a little hut. And I wanted to create a roof for it and so, like add a little area so lights can shine through. Because I think I'm going to pop battery operated lights. In. I did it in the front already. And so I'm going to show you what you do. So what you're going to do is you're going to start with your sketch. So you're going to create a sketch. Now, the very important thing to remember, and the reason it's not going to work for you if um, you're struggling, is that if you're not in the correct lane, then you are not going to find the little dots and everything that you make to extrude them or to create holes with them. So this is always a huge struggle for me because I'm like, how did that end up somewhere I didn't think to do? I haven't completely figured this out. I am not an expert in Fusion 360. I am trying to find my way along here. So I find the easiest way to select the right plane isn't to select the plane itself. I select the actual item I'm putting the holes on. I don't know if there's some potential for a disaster there where it won't work, but it's been working. We're gonna go up to the top. We're gonna create a circle. Because holes are circles. I think they were two. And then I'm going to move it where I want it. And I'm going to try to get it in approximately the same spot as the other ones, which is going to be challenging. The one thing I'm, this part is solid, so I don't want a hole there. That's about right. Mm. Okay. What I'm going to do is before I leave this sketch, I'm actually going to go back up to create and create a rectangular pattern. And I'm going to go across this way all the way to where I want the holes to stop. You can put as many holes as you want that'll fit. Just keep in mind that you probably want them to match the front. And I'm going to keep this in mind because if I'm not careful, it'll look funny. And I want it to look the same as the opposite side. I think that's about right. So I've got 13 here. So I'm going to click OK. Finish sketch. I'm going to go up to create a hole right here. And it's you click multiple and then you select all of these. Just boom. And actually for this, I can do the opposite side just by running them long enough that they go all the way through. I might mess with my design a little, so I'm going to try to see. Oops. Because I could just do this. There are one random one down there. I don't know where that one came from, but let's see. Ah, I have a random hole there. That is odd. Okay, let me. Yeah, there we go. So I think that'll work. I'm just going to go up here. All right, it's not impacting anything because this was all hollow. It looks cool. It looks like something, some lasers you need to run through. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go back here so it's not driving me nuts. Um, And then it's going to tell me I can't do it. Why? Oh, that's because I'm in this. Oh my gosh, sometimes. No, no orbit. No orbit. No orbit. So now that I'm out of the orbit, boom. So let's see, did it do it? It did. So now it's perfect. It should be the same on each side. The spacing's good. I think good. And that's that's it. I'm not putting any on the back. That's all there is to it. Hope that was helpful. Take care.